Hi, everybody. Welcome for this new Jenkins Infra meeting. Um, today, to the agenda, we don't have many different topics. Um, we just did the new weekly release, so the version 2.280. I think everything went um, well. At least I did not see anybody complaining about that um, release yet. Um, the, 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 just the, the thing that I want to highlight here with the weekly release is late yesterday I was correctly notified when um, we had issues during the LTS release. I think that was the LTS release. So um, that's really nice that we can now um, detect if um, the release process was interrupted for some reason. Um, the next topic, I think it's Mark who bring this to the to the agenda, which is uh, the fact that Microsoft uh, won't officially support uh, Azure plugin um, around 2024. Um, from my point of view, it won't be a big deal because the, the long term goals is to rely, I mean, is to rely on Kubernetes anyway. So we won't be using Azure container instances anyway. Um, to me, that that date seems quite far compared to today. So I wouldn't, I mean, I personally, I'm not, I'm not, I don't worry about that. It, that it doesn't that change sense. anything anyway. The last year they've only been doing emergency fixes. Yeah, and and it's not like nobody else can modify that code. Um, so yeah, if you, for instance, you compare that to Amazon, Amazon do not officially support the EC2 plugin, for instance. Um, it's maintained by the community. So yeah, from my point of view, it's not, I'm not worried about that. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the only main topic that I want to discuss today is about the CA certificate used to sign the update center. So, so sorry, Olivia, yeah. bef before you go on from that one, I'm still, I'm still nervous. We spent 12 months migrating Jira um, and ci.jenkins.io is a lot more complicated than Jira. I don't think we need to do anything dramatically different, but I think we, we should remind ourselves that Azure is probably not, Azure and particularly ACI is not our long-term destination, right? We, we really do, just as you said, long-term want to be on Kubernetes and we want to be more portable than we are right now. So we're, we're gonna, I think we're gonna have to spend some effort to become more portable and, and we just acknowledge we're going to keep spending that effort. So uh, on, on that specific topic, um, Debian, Debian, who's not there right now, um, is looking at how to provision agents on Kubernetes. So he provision an, an Amazon cluster. Um, and so we have some, I mean, we have ongoing uh, work there. Nothing really major to, to report or highlight, but I mean, Super. In, just in, yeah. so long as so long as we we I, I don't want to arrive at thirty six months from now and and be surprised that that something went wrong and we had to we need to make a, a frantic move. So just planning is good enough for me. Thanks. So so right now we are planning to use communities to replace the Azure Container instance. Um, that's one of the plugin. Um, we could also use the same approach for the Oracle Cloud, whatever. Um, community sponsored we have. We still have specific integration with Azure, um, but we don't have, uh, I would say, um, strong requirements on the plugins. I mean, we still have some workarounds. Uh, so, I mean, right now they, they will just stop um, officially uh, supporting the, um, those plugins, but yeah, we still have options and I'm not really concerned about um, those plugins anyway. I don't think they will stop working the day, the end date anyway. So, so I propose to continue to the CA certificate. Um, so basically inside Jenkins core, we have a CA. So basically that, that CA is used by Jenkins to know um, if it can install. So um, let, 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 let me explain this different way. So the update centers um, use a certificate to sign the package, the plugins that we want to install. And that's, yeah, that, that certificate is expiring. So the next time was something like one year ago, I generated a new one, um, but, but the problem is we use, we use an old CA 
to sign that certificate and that OCA is expiring in April 2021 basically so we need we need to now use a new CA that was introduced in Jenkins core around April 2018 so basically once we decide to use the new CA um, it means that version older than 2.100 um, 17 won't be able to download plugins from the update center. Um, we delayed that decision several months ago because we didn't want to change that, that, that at that time, but I think it's time now to announce that um, we will renew the, we, we will sign, we'll sign um, the update center using a newer uh, CA. Basically. I'm not sure if we just we can just send an email on the dev mailing list or if we have to send um, a blog post. Um, I, I don't think it will impact the community because anyway, um, the version 2.117 is really old. So if the people, I mean, for those people who are running that Jenkins version, they are not able to use the, the update center anyway. So. Any question on this? So you mentioned how old, what was the Jenkins version that will be the cutoff point? Uh, 2.117. And so the new, the new, the new root certificate, the root uh, certificate is valid until 2028. So it gives us seven year. Yeah, I, my sense is I think we should do a blog post just for deniability. That's a terrible thing to say, but that way we can point to something and say, look, here it is. It was posted on the official site, but email to the dev list is the more likely thing that will actually be read. No, I can. I mean, I can, I can send an email. Uh, I, I can send a blog post on that. Um, there is not a lot of things to say, just we are rotating the root CA and... Um, and basically, you shouldn't be affected by that. But yeah, well, yeah, I don't know. Blog post is really needed. That version is ancient. They're not going to be able to use. So they won't be able to update plugins anyway. So it's basically impossible um, from the community update center anyway. Because um, any plugin you try, the only plugins you better install are plugins with an old baseline that have no dependencies. This Jenkins call will always update to the latest version of a dependency. And if there's not, if it's not using the LTS update center, which we only keep the last four, um, it's just going to break. It's so it's basically impossible. Uh, okay, so yeah, and I th I think I understand Tim. Yesterday or yesterday during Doc's office hours, we did a a development exercise using a plugin, and it it defaulted to running two point one seventy six and immediately started offering plugin downloads that couldn't be used with that version. So you're right. So maybe it is, it is pointless to talk about a blog post because, because it was already unworkable today. I think that's what you're saying, right? It's, yeah. it's already unworkable today and, and a blog post isn't going to make it any less unworkable. So maybe we don't bother with the blog post and don't take Olivier's time writing a blog post, just the email to the dev list. Yeah. Okay, Olivier, is, are you okay with that? I'm persuaded by what Tim noted. Yeah, definitely. I would. I mean, that's easy to just set the email. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, I we don't have proposed to. Is it already? Is it already next week? That the, the contributor summit. Oh, yeah. It is contributor summit is next is twenty third, twenty fourth, and twenty fifth, and actually if we've got two two voice three voices that will be in that summit on on this call that I wanted to check with. So this is a great excuse to ask some questions. Sure. So last topic, which is about the contributor summits. Um, apparently, it's next week. <laughs> right. So um, next next Tuesday is the opening session of the Contributor Summit. It will be from uh, 3 to 5 p.m. UTC. Uh, and in that, we'll have five to seven minutes for each of the heads of 
um, special interest groups for each of the officers. So Tim, you'd have five to seven minutes on the presentation to share the progress from the last 12 months of release work and what you think should be coming. Uh, Olivier, likewise, um, you can go seven, less than that. Yes, yeah, so seven minutes to just cover all the things that we did. I mean, it's not a lot. <laughs> well, not just all the things we did, all the things we did and the things you would like, the ideas you would like to propose for the coming year. And, and then we will organize ourselves into tracks. And one of the tracks I think is going to be securing the delivery pipeline for Jenkins components, for Jenkins plugins, et cetera. And there I think infra and release and security all should be involved in that single track. So first question, Olivier, I think you've already confirmed for me, you're willing to speak for, yeah. for a few minutes at the start. Tim, are you willing to speak as well during as the release off, officer during that opening session? Yep. Yep. Like okay, then then there was one more topic, which was on Google Summer of Code. And Cara, since you're here, would you be willing to speak on 2020's Google Summer of Code and on 2021's plan for Google Summer of Code? Uh, yes, <laughs> thank you, Mark. Um, we, the Google Summer of Code application as an org is wrapping up, and what we really need from you all, if you're if you're interested, is to put your names down as willing to be mentors for the different listed projects on the GSOC page. We have, I believe, six up now. There are two more potential ones in the pipeline. One is almost certain to be end. So there is a bit of a choice. A lot of very interesting ones. Um, Mark has put one forth. And there, in addition, are a number of really good ones on, on cloud native topics, things like that. So if you are interested in being a mentor, you will not be the only mentor on any of these projects. You will always be paired with another mentor. That is our goal. Um, ideally, we would even have up to three or more mentors. And this year's GSOC is um, requiring a reduced amount of hours from students nearly half the hour. So it's only 175 hour projects over the 10 weeks. So that time will be divided up in different ways and mentors will work with their students to determine what works best for the mentors and the students. But this means that students will be likely writing less code. Uh, I can't say that mentoring will be cut in half, but it will in all likelihood be quite reduced what's required of you as a mentor because what's required of the student is reduced. So Hopefully no mentors will find, will find the process entirely enjoyable and not onerous and not feel overwhelmed by it. We wanna support you through the whole process. Um, and I encourage you all to please volunteer as mentors. Thank you. Great. All right, so that's, uh, so proposal is to cancel next week's meeting in favor of Contributor Summit. Any objections? This sounds great. Yeah. So I'll right. cancel the I, I, I start, I cancel the event in the calendar. Great. That's all that I had, Olivier. Thanks. Thanks. Um, then I propose to stop the meeting here. Um, I mean, there is no point to keep it for 30 minutes. So thanks. Thanks for your time. And um, see you later. Bye-bye.